Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Nia Hope and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So a couple of weeks ago, I did the military diet for the first time ever and I'm actually kind of blown away by the results. This is a crash diet. You know, whatever results that you happen to get off this diet, if you try it at home, they will not be permanent. It's kind of just like lose a couple pounds really, really quickly for a certain event or to kickstart a real true weight loss journey where you're gonna maintain a healthy diet for an extended period of time. But these results are insane. I lost several pounds and I can't wait to share with you how much weight I lost at the end of this video. But first I wanna go in and share with you what exactly the military diet is, what I ate, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's actually a website that tells you exactly what to eat while you're on the military diet. I will link it in my description box. And it also gives you substitution. So if you're a vegetarian or you're vegan and you're like, I can't eat some of this stuff, there are alternatives to a lot of the food items that you're required to eat for three days. All right, so let's dive into day one. So with every breakfast and lunch on this three-day diet, you have to have one cup of coffee or tea. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, so I opted to have green tea. And this is the green tea that I chose to use. On the first day for breakfast, you're supposed to have half a grapefruit, which you can see here. And also, you're supposed to have a slice of toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter. I was actually out of bread, so I just used a tortilla, a flour tortilla. And the only thing you wanna make sure is that with any substitution you make, the, the most basic thing is that you just wanna make sure it's in the same caloric range as what they already suggested. So your typical slice of toast can be around like, I don't know, like 130, 120 calories. This one piece of tortilla was only 100 calories, so I was actually below the calories suggested for breakfast. So for lunch on day one, you are allowed to have one half cup of tuna, one slice of toast, and then again, coffee or tea. So I was still out of bread. <laughs> so what I wound up having was my um, half cup of tuna with, some, with another flour tortilla, and of course my green tea. And another key thing to note is that there's no sugar allowed on this diet, so I did not sweeten this tea. If you're having tea or coffee, make sure you don't add any sugar, don't add honey, don't add agave nectar, nothing, just drink it as is, okay guys? And so after lunch, of course, comes dinner, the last meal of the day, and it's actually super, super generous. I think everything that they allow you to eat, you're allowed to have three t ounces of any type of meat. I had um, pork loin, and you're allowed to have one cup of green beans, half a banana, one small apple, and one whole cup of vanilla ice cream. Now, I will tell you guys, I'm not a huge ice cream fanatic. I definitely, typically don't try to eat ice cream with dairy in it and unfortunately I was away from home at the time so I only had vanilla dairy ice cream to choose from so what wound up happening was I used like it looks like a lot of ice cream but it's really not it's like maybe a teaspoon it's just kind of the way it's like spread in the bowl where it looks like a lot but anyway I had ice cream I chopped up my the rest of my banana that I didn't finish eating and I also had a slice of pound cake I'm not sure how many calories were in that pound cake but I know it was under 300 and basically the one cup of ice cream is 300 calories I know that this the dessert that I personally had was it fell in that range um, I didn't I wasn't super crazy and like googling oh my god how much was this one slice of cake but I know it wasn't too much and I didn't even finish the slice of cake because it was trash. So there's that. <laughs> All right, let's go into day two. So for day two, you're allowed to have one egg, one slice of toast and half of a banana. And I also had tea with it, green tea. And so what I had was a boiled egg that was chopped up, a slice of toast, and I just seasoned everything because this is such a bland, bland breakfast it's so sad and I was like I have to spice this up some way or this is just not gonna go down so um, I just seasoned it really well had my banana also drink water with it for lunch you're supposed to have one cup of cottage cheese one hard-boiled egg and five saltine crackers okay so for starters to me cottage cheese is absolutely disgusting so I went on that same website and they have as I said a lot of a lot of substitutions what I used instead was um, cheddar cheese I had a chopped up hard-boiled egg and then I had five saltine crackers but yeah that's what I had for lunch <laughs> 
So for dinner, you're allowed to have two hot dogs, um, one cup of broccoli, half a cup of carrot, half a banana, and again, this vanilla ice cream, which I guess would be really exciting for some people who love ice cream, but I'm not a huge ice cream person like that, as I said. And so I was looking at it like, why? Like, why am I eating ice cream? And then I was even more disgusted because I think hot dogs are disgusting. Like, I think they're just so trifling. Like, once you find out what's in a hot dog, you can't, like, forget it ever. And so for me, hot dogs are something I might have once a year at a cookout and it has to be like super burnt so that everything inside of it I think is like dead and then I can eat it. So eating these hot dogs was probably my least favorite thing to do on this diet. It actually made me feel sick because it was just so greasy and so gross and just thinking about what a hot dog is, it just made me feel nauseous. So anyway, I sucked it up. I had the hot dogs. There are substitutes for hot dogs. So if you really, really just can't eat them, I would look on the website. Once again, I'll link it below and see what those substitutions are. But anyway, I had two hot dogs that I chopped up. I didn't have broccoli at the time. I was not at home. So I wound up substituting it for sauteed um, spinach with some mushrooms. And then I had half a cup of, or I eyeballed it, it wasn't perfectly measured, half a cup of shredded carrots and half a banana. Decided to go home and have my ice cream there because I did have dairy-free ice cream at home. It actually fell below the calorie range for the ice cream that they suggest. And it's this ice cream that you're seeing here. It's absolutely delicious. It's so, so good. I just had one scoop of that and I was done with all of my meals for day two. Now, day three. <laughs> day three for breakfast, you're allowed to have five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, and one small apple. So I just took one square slice of cheddar cheese and I cut it into four. Um, I had my small apple and the saltine crackers. This was actually my least favorite meal aside from like the hot dogs that I had to eat because it was just nasty. Who wants to eat salty crackers for breakfast? I personally am not a huge apple fan, so I didn't even finish all my apple slices because I was like, ugh, this is nasty. The cheese was the only thing that I really, really, truly ate and enjoyed. I had this with water, and I also had it with green tea as well. Of course, unsweetened. And then for lunch later that day, lunch, <laughs> a lunch on day three was a struggle. You're allowed to have one hard-boiled egg, which once again, I chopped this up, and one slice of toast. That's it. Literally the most pathetic looking lunch like it just looks sad i was like is this it like or did they forget to add stuff on the website like is there supposed to be more but that was it just a slice of toast one egg and so that's what i had of course i had to season it to death because in order for me to enjoy it and not be miserable i really had to season this so i just went in with a few seasonings and tried to make it as tasty as possible so the last meal of this three-day diet <laughs> is one cup of tuna, half a banana, and this freaking one cup of vanilla ice cream again. So I just decided to forego ice cream in general, dairy or non-dairy. I just like, I didn't feel like eating ice cream. So what I decided to do was actually use vegan mayo with my tuna so I could actually make my tuna taste good and not super dry like it had been on the previous days. And I used those same calories that I would have used in the ice cream in my tuna. If that makes sense so once again as I said earlier it's really not so much about what you're eating but just making sure you're staying within the calorie range which is like from I think the calorie range is from like 1200 to 1400 calories so let's talk about how much weight I lost and you will see it in these next clips which I'm weighing right now let me take these shoes off then I get this powered up and ready to go Let's see what I come in as. Ooh. 156.4 pounds. I'm going to do another little weigh in. Let's get this powered up. I'm gonna keep my robe out of the way this time. And moment of truth. Three days later, let's see what happened. Wow. <laughs> That's actually six pounds in three days. It's kind of insane. Wow. That's madness. So as you guys can see, my results were insane. I'm actually really, really happy with my results. I'm not sure if I would do this again, though. Um, I do believe that there are healthier ways to kind of um, lose weight, but there's really no healthy way to crash diet. I'll put that that way. Okay. So 
if you're looking for a crash diet that works and you only have three days to like lose a few pounds, I would definitely suggest this diet, especially tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving. So if you put on those five pounds, know the next week you can get them off by doing this diet. Or if you have like, I don't know, an event, like something coming up where you just need to drop a couple pounds really quickly. This is a really cheap, easy, and effective way of losing um, a significant amount of weight in a short period of time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you've already tried this diet or if you try it after watching this video, come back in the comments and let me know your results. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.